Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southerns cooking back at you today with another video. All right, what we're going to be doing here today, we're going to be doing us some chicken thighs in the air fryer where it's going to be more healthy for you, us with less grease. And we also going to be cooking us some yellow rice, some toasted. We're going to toast some rice for it won't stick. And we're going to cook us some little green beans. So we're doing something real kind of simple today. But, uh, gonna get this stuff done. We got four pieces of chicken right here. Got four nice little thighs here. And what we're gonna do, we, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut the fats, the fat off of it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut the skin off of it. And, uh, we got some shears here. And I'll let you know now, these, these, if you get your set of shears, trimming chicken with these shears is a whole lot easier. I mean, it makes trimming chicken so easy. So you need to invest in a set of these shears right here. And uh, how's everybody doing today? Everybody all right? Good, good. I know I can't hear you, but I know your response was yes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to trim these on up and then we're going to wash them out real good. We're going to put a little vinegar in some water, a little salt, and we're going to rinse them out real good. Get them nice and clean. That's what we're doing today. We're going to trim all the fat off of it. We're going to get the majority of it. And you see how quick and simple and easy that was right there when you got these shears here? Just trim it right off like it ain't nothing. Like it ain't nothing. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put our loose skin in here, and we're going to fill up our sink with some vinegar and water. Rinse off the chicken, and rinse the chicken off real good. And we're also going to rinse off our shears as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that right quick, and then fill up with a little water. Put a little vinegar in the water. I'm using just white vinegar. And we're gonna put a little salt in the water as well. Rinse our chicken out real good. Wonderful day today. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. So we're gonna go ahead and what we got going on right here now. Get this here cleaned up real good, right quick. What we got going on right here for a season. We got two tablespoons of chicken bouillon right here. We got a tablespoon and a half of chicken season, and we got a tablespoon and a half of lemon pepper. And we also, what we did, we put about one eighth of salt in this in the pot as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put all these seasons together, just like this right here. And we're gonna mix it up real good because I got this, uh, you know, I got this cube chicken bouillon that I have to crunch up. But you can buy the jar, but when I went to go get it, they didn't have none. But since I got this, the boxes of cubes, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that first. But next time I go to the store, if they have it, I'm going to go ahead and grab me a jar. But I'm going to still continue to do this here until it's all gone. So we're going to get this crumbled up real good, and we're going to season our chicken real good. And we're going to go ahead and stick it in the air fryer for about, I don't see. I'm going I'm to I'm say about 20, because when I turn it the air fry all the way on, it goes up to 23 minutes. So, I'm going to just go, cut. I think 23 minutes is going to be too too long, but I'm pretty sure it is. So, we're going to go ahead and pour the rest of this drain of water off of this chicken. And what we're going to do, we ain't going to put no oil on it. We're just going to go ahead and 
Pour out a little season in here. We're gonna rub our chicken down real good this season. Get it coated real good. Chicken coated real good. And when you when you're working with chicken, you don't want to be touching everything in your kitchen. When you're working with chicken, you sure don't, don't want to be touching everything. And always keep you rinse your hands off after you get through messing with it. You don't want to keep carrying them germs off the chicken to other places. So when I get through with this, I'm gonna bleach this counter down and everything. The utensils I use, I'm gonna bleach it all down. Real good. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move some of this stuff out the way, and we're gonna get our air fryer. We're gonna get our air fryer, which is right here. Get our air fryer, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our. Uh -oh. Set our chicken. In our air fry. So we're gonna we're gonna set it in there with the skin up. We're gonna leave the skin up because if we leave the skin up on the air fry, it'll get crispy. Reason I like using the air fry so much because, like I said earlier, you don't have to use grease. We're going to wrench our hands off again. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this in. And we're going to set this on 23. And our temperature on the air fryer is... We're going to set it on about 350. So we're going to go ahead and set that for 23 minutes. Now we're going to go on to the other side. And we're going to start... Getting our rice ready and our green beans. So stay tuned. So what we have here, we have us a cup of rice here. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put it in a pot. And we're going to go over here and rinse it off right quick. And we'll be right back. All right, now we got a little oil. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pour a little oil in our pot, in our little pan. We'll pour a little oil in there, let it get hot. You know how I always test for my grease to get hot. I always dab the fruits. Sprinkles of water in there. And when they start popping, I know my grease is coming up to temp. That's what I do. Now we have our green beans here. We're going to sit this to the side right here. Get us another pot right quick. We're just using a can of green beans. Just a regular can of green beans. We, not, we don't have the, the ones you're going to be cutting up and all that stuff. So we're just going to use a regular can. We're going to keep it simple today. We ain't doing a whole lot of work today. Keeping it simple. And what we're going to do, we're going to add us a little butter in, it, in, the, uh, in our vegetables. Now we ain't gonna we ain't gonna use no butter. We're gonna use some margarine. We got a little margarine right here. We're gonna use some margarine. In there. And we're gonna add us a little salt and pepper as well. Like I say, ladies and gentlemen, this 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 is just a real simple quick meal right here. It's how you have to do it when you you know went to work and got to come back and cook a little bit. So we ain't doing nothing complicated today. We'll do us a little something complicated tomorrow, the Lord will. We might do us a cake tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn the stove on. Out. <coughs> I'm gonna also put a, a, a probably a teaspoon of sugar in this as well in our green beans. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of sugar in these green beans, huh?
All right. I'll bring you back soon if the grease get hot. All right, our grease starting to get hot. Get it popping. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a little dab of onions in our green beans. We're going to sprinkle a little dab of onions in there. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put the rest of the onions. We got a half an onion right here as well. Put the rest of the onions in here. Then the rest of our season that we have left over with the chicken bouillon and the lemon pepper and all that. that we're going to go ahead and we're going to add that in here. We'll add that over in there like that there. Turn the stove down just a little bit. Let the onions come alive a little bit. Then we're going to put our rice in here. We're going to toast our rice. So when you toast the rice, you have a better, less chance of your rice sticking. Matter of fact, I got a video of that up there already. I toasted the rice. It keeps your rice from sticking. So we have already rinsed the rice off. So what we're gonna do, we got some water in here. Let me get this water out of here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this rice in in here and we're gonna get this rice a good toasting that's what we're doing we're toasting the rice y'all that's what keeps the rice from sticking Cook a little bit. Rinse our pot. That's how we doing it? That's how we doing it, y'all. This is what we're going to be doing today. That's what we talking about. It's coming together. It's coming together like clockwork. There we go. I think I got the wrong utensil right here. Because I got it, I'm going to go ahead and keep working with it. All right, so now we're getting ready to go ahead and pour it in our pot, and we're going to go ahead and add our water to it, and we're going to start cooking it. I got a dish right around here somewhere. All right, we're gonna get us some water here. So we got our water here. Two cups of water. We got one cup of rice. We're gonna add two cups of water. Break it, break it up real good first so I put it on the stove. I 
turn the stove down on medium. And we're going to put us a lid on this. And we're going to let this young cook. And we'll be back, y'all. Stay tuned for the next episode. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is how chicken came out. Toasty and crispy. As you can see. And what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to plate this up. With our, some, uh, uh, with our uh, yellow rice and green beans. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our little dinner today. Our rice and our green beans and our chicken thighs. It was done in the air fryer. This is the way we cooked it today. I'm just showing you an easy way to do it. So if you enjoyed the video, put a thumb up, ring the bell. Everybody have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace.